Hello, YouTube family. Tom, a.k.a. Patrick from Patrick's Playbook. I am here today with a Dollar Tree haul and a taste test at the end with kind of a spicy twist. All my items are spicy except for one. So there's a little tease for the end. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for finding us and for watching us. We appreciate it so, so very much. And if you would subscribe, like, or comment, that would be wonderful. Um, I answer every single comment. I love them. If someone takes the time to comment to me, I will always answer back. Every time. If I don't, please call me out on it. Let me know that I did not. Because I try to answer every single comment. And as far as I know, I have. But there you have it. And if you're a returning viewer to this channel, thank you so very much for your loyalty. We love you all. So, having said that, this is a pretty extensive Dollar Tree haul. So, without further ado, let's do this. Before I begin the haul itself, I want to tell everyone something that kind of exciting for me. Um, not in a personal family way, but just kind of something that I um, did last night. I went and saw... The classic 1953, 1953 film, Roman Holiday, with Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn. Oscar-winning film. Well, Audrey Hepburn won Best Actress for it in 1953. The film did not. It got beat by From Here to Eternity, also an amazing film. Anyways, um, a local movie theater here showed the film, and I saw it, and I was the only person in the audience. I was the only film goer. So I had the entire theater to myself. It was glorious. I loved it. And um, Mercy, who you all know from this channel, my daughter, and her mom saw it on Sunday together, and they were the only two in the audience. So very, very cool. It was a fun experience. And I just wanted to mention that I'm a big movie buff, as you can see with my Godfather shirt here. Oscar nominations just came out the other day, by the way. I love the film Elvis, and I got eight Oscar nominations, including Best Picture, and for me, more importantly, Best Actor for Austin Butler, and I think he's going to win. Okay, I've talked long enough without doing the haul. Let's begin. For those of you who have watched my channel for the entirety of it, which, by the way, is coming up on the one-year anniversary, um, on January 28th, I'm filming today on the 26th, I had some bunnies last year, that were part of my set for quite some time. And they are back. So these are not new items for us, but we love them so much. So we just, we could not resist. So we picked up two of the white ones. Absolutely love those. And two, oh, I love these brown ones. And two of the brown Easter bunnies. So we picked those up. You know, those are returning. Um, I don't know if I showed those long enough. Those are two um, sets of bunnies returning items, and maybe they'll find their way back to the set, you know, once Valentine's and maybe St. Patrick's Day comes and goes. But love those bunnies, just could not resist. So now we have so many signs, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. I see, I see a really fun sign, and I cannot resist. Look at this one for St. Patrick's Day. Obviously, it says good luck, as you can see. And I just love the rainbow. I love the shamrocks. And I love, love, love the truck. I mean, how cool. Just kind of a, you know, like a plaid checkered green truck. Absolutely love it. So we found that. And kind of in the same design is this. Obviously, it says Happy St. Patrick's Day and welcome with the camper. Love it. Love the door. I love that door. And the shamrock on the wheel. Love this. So, yeah. Pretty cool sign. So, we found that. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. When I see signs, I just can't. Oof, I have to. I just really, really like signs. Now, our dog Bentley, who... The only time you've seen Bentley on this channel, our dog, is when um, 
I did last year's Super Bowl reaction, and he is in the, the thumbnail picture for the video. But he's too rambunctious to be on camera. He just doesn't sit still. But we found this. There's Bentley's Paws there. <laughs> home Sweet Home for Valentine's Day. Found that. And last but not least, for signs, the truck, the red truck, loads of love. Love that. Just love the hearts in the back of the truck. I love the, I love kind of the wooden detail there. So cool. So we found some really, really, um, I thought amazing signs there. Now, this, Mercy, my daughter Mercy was so excited to find this. A shamrock with the letter M. Oh, there's lots of glare on that. Let me kind of move him back here. Get the tag out of the way. So as you can see, this comes with, uh, you know, you can hang it up with the twine here, a little rope. And yeah, the letter M for Mercy. Lots of glare. I'll just put it up quickly like there. And... I won't keep it up there long because it is very glary, but yes, we found this shamrock with the M for Mercy. She was excited about that. And I was excited about this. Can you, I mean, can you even look at that? That is so cool. Now, kind of hard to see a little glary maybe. It says Lucky, obviously there. And it has gold coins flowing out of the bucket how cool is that for saint patrick's day saint patrick's day love it with our channel name patrick's playbook i love saint patrick's day love it love it love it i'm not trying to rush past valentine's day though at all but i do love saint patrick's day i will say that okay let me organize a little bit and we have a lot of food so i'm going to get all the non-food items hauled here for everyone and <clears throat> mercy found these socks uh saint patrick's women low cut socks size five to nine so my daughter will get these she found those pretty cool for mercy and then oh my goodness now when i saw these i'm like how in the world do they sell these for a dollar 25 and make any profit because you know, it's not like leftover from another store. This is Greenbrier product, but look at this. I mean, craft, it says, you know, craft wooden embellishment set. But I mean, it's basically just, you know, there's like, gosh, five, five, 10, 15, 30, like 45 pieces. Yeah, 45 pieces, individual wood cut pieces for $1.25. I, I just don't understand how they make any money from that, but I guess I am, we are happy to be the recipients of. So we actually picked up three of these. I mean, look at this detail. Look at the detail on some of these pieces. I mean, seriously, I love, absolutely love the squirrel. And you've got acorns and, I mean, look at all this stuff. Absolutely amazing. Mushrooms, leaf, how cool are these? We picked up three of these, these two. This one, you've got butterflies and leaves and oh my gosh. So yeah, I mean, that was, I, I could not believe we found those. Those are just, Mercy is going to love crafting with these. She will have a blast. So we found those. Craft wooden embellishment sets. Interesting how they... How they term that? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have thought. I wouldn't have thought to term them that way. And then, guys, this is great. So this is a DIY letter board. Welcome to our home. Sorry for the glare on the package, but look, as you can see, you can hang it up. You know, you hang it up from the string here, from the little rope, and you know, it's just got dry letters that you can spell out any message you want in here. Just so cool. We thought this was so neat. So yeah, we found this uh, 124 letters on here. Obviously, there's multiples for each letter. So we found that. A dry letter board. 
pretty fun, I thought. Okay, let me organize all of this here. Let's do all of the non-food items first. I'm really excited about the taste test at the end, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, oh, I wanted to mention here. So, Coastal Bay hard candies, you know, they're the cinnamons. They're like, you know, just kind of the classic, with the classic wrapper, the classic cinnamon candy. So, we found these. I wanted to mention this because it's kind of important for the amount. 12 ounces here, as you can see, but these were in the Valentine section, not the candy section. Now, in the actual candy section, they had the same thing, but only 10 ounces. Obviously, same price. So, at your DTs, look in the Valentine section, and you can get two more ounces of these if you are a fan of these, which I personally am. So, yeah, 12 ounces of these for $1.25. Sign me up. All right, now... Let me get a few things out of the way that are not food. I thought this was interesting. So you know how they have Tide Pods. Tide Pods are very popular. Well, Wizard, which I have not known Wizard, you know, it's, it's a name brand for, you know, different um, cleaning products, but I did not know Wizard to make a detergent pod. So we're going to try these out. These We've never tried this before. But, you know, you get eight of them. So, yeah, we'll give those a try and see how those work. So we found that. And then, you know, just an everyday, uh, not the most exciting item in the world, but just this nice, you know, toenail clipper. And then, this is kind of interesting. Um, Mercy and her mom were thinking about, because right now they don't have, they don't have, um, fake nails they just have you know they just they don't have fake nails so they were thinking of trying some fake nails so they picked up this um from kiss the super bond you know pink nail glue in case they try it i guess they are going to try it so that'll be interesting for them something new so they picked up that and then just for um you know, just for the top coat for their nails, they picked up this. Super dry, quick dry top coat, wrap pediment sec. So, so that'll be kind of fun for Mercy. She's never done that in her life. So I think she's looking forward to trying something different. So I just thought I'd mention that. Um, we found some interesting items here. Uh, we found this from Bi from Be Pure, rather, Be Pure Tea Tree Oil, 5-in-1 Leave-In Spray. You get three ounces. So we pick that up. And then um, just picked up some different body washes here from name brand Dermasil. We got three items from Dermasil. And these two are... I'm going to smell these in a second. Let me let you know how I feel the scents are for these. But we picked up, this one is Cool Melon. Just, you know, from Dermacell, name, big name brand, body wash. Let's see the scent on this. Oh, yeah. It does smell like, very distinctively like lemon. Like, not lemon. I mean, like melon. So we picked that one up. And then this one here is Sweet Cherry. Dermacell Moisturizing Body Wash. Let's see the smell on that. Oh, yeah, that's very pleasing. That's very, very pleasant smell. Yeah. Nice. We picked, the, so we picked that one up, too. And then we also got this from Dermacell. Just the Extra Moisturizing Hand Wash. And um, this is 8 ounces. Oh, sorry, the ounces on these are 13.5. I forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. 13.5 on both of the Dermacell body washes and eight ounces here for the extra moisturizing hand wash. So we picked those up and then kind of um, for hair, we have this uh, Aquanet hairspray. 
name brand and you get four ounces of that that would be for mercy as you know you can tell i don't need any so that is for mercy okay so we pick that up aquanet Okay, I have a lot of food items. I'm trying to see, is there any non-food items left on this table? I don't believe that there are. Okay, so the rest of this haul is all food with a taste test at the end. So, there's some repeat items here, but I wanted to show you, this was interesting here. So, a previous trip to DT, we actually picked up this these salt and pepper shakers, but this one is filled with Lowry's garlic salt. And I wanted to show you, we got these two packages. These are empty ones, but they're empty because they fit, two packages of this fits literally the exact, right to the top of a salt and pepper shaker from Dollar Tree. So that was really fun. It was just fun to see that two packets, you know, fit this. So. Keep your eye out for this salt and pepper shaker at DT. And keep your eye out for these little packets of Lowry's garlic salt. We really enjoy that. So we picked that up. And then along those lines, um, we actually have some different seasonings here. This is salt-free seasoning. Supreme Tradition, 2.5 ounces. Picked that up. This one, same company, Supreme Tradition Ground Cinnamon, 2.25 ounces. All four of these are from the same company, Supreme Tradition. Which, I mean, it says Supreme Tradition, but it's it's the Dollar Tree Greenbrier. Um, but here you have chopped chives from the Greenbrier Dollar Tree brand. And you get three, oh, 0 0.35, so 10 grams. Got some chopped chives. And then we got some cinnamon sugar. And this is actually five point, almost six ounces, 5.75 ounces. So yeah, the Dollar Tree brand, Greenbrier. So we picked uh, those four seasonings up. And then, okay, now, I wanted to mention that we made some delicious Sloppy Joes in the Midwest. That's what we call them. I know other, you know, the brand named uh, Manwich. Some people call them, you know, Manwiches. But, I don't know, in Minnesota, I think in a lot, big, large part of the Midwest, they're called Sloppy Joes. So we made some Sloppy Joes, and we used this. We used an entire bottle of Kinder's. Barbecue sauce, mild, and we just used one pound of ground beef and a bottle of this, and it was absolutely delicious. So I thought I would just mention that. So keep your eye on that name brand if you want to. And then this we have not tried yet. Same brand, Kinder's. We're going to try this zero sugar Marinade and sauce teriyaki. Oh, and I should mention the ounces here are 14, as is this is 15.3. Yeah, we really, we really like the taste of that, uh, of the Kinders. Very delicious. So, yeah, we're going to give this one here a try as a try as well. So, we picked that up. Now, we are going to have a future taste test, uh, Mercy and I, and we're going to try these two from Pillsbury, homemade biscuit mix and cheddar garlic biscuit mix. We're actually going to do a complete taste test video of these two, as well as from Martha White, wild berry and blueberry muffin mix so that is going to be yummy for us and a fun taste test video hopefully for all of you that would enjoy watching 
that. So keep an eye out for that upcoming video. So yeah, two from Martha White for muffins. Sorry for the glare. And two from Pillsbury. Homemade biscuits and cheddar garlic biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, only a few more until the taste test. One, two, three, four, five. Five more items and then the taste test. So here we go. Um, we were excited to find this. Um, the albacore tuna in olive oil. We really, really um, enjoy that. And we particularly, we prefer it in olive oil. You know, some other ones have, you know, different variations of oils. Um, but we, we really like, really, really like the olive oil. So we found that. And then we're going to try these. We haven't tried these, um, these dinner mints from Coastal Bay. Those we have not tried. And when I say, you know, Coastal Bay, it is the Greenbrier, you know, Dollar Tree brand, but they call it Coastal Bay. So yeah, we're going to try the dinner mints. We'll let you know how those are. 5.5 ounces. So that should be good. And then we have three just items that we that I have hauled before, just returning items. I have hauled these cheese doodles before, but we just picked it up at our recent shopping uh, outing at the Buck Tree. Picked up these cheese doodles. They're really delicious. Really, really enjoy these. So we picked those up. The Party Mix from DT I really enjoy. I really, really like this. Very, very yummy. So we picked up a bag of that. And then I had only tried this once, but these were good. These were good. This El Sabroso uh, Baja Limon Spicy Chili and Lime. So yeah, return item there. Thumbs up on those. Picked that up. And guys, that is it. I have a wonderful taste test for you here at the end. So here we go. I have three items that all three are spicy. And then kind of a fun, funny item at the end that I don't think I'm going to like. But I just think it'll be fun to try because I've never tried this variation of the item. I'll just leave it. I'll leave it at that for now. I'll leave you in suspense. Okay. So the next three here I have not tried before. And I'm looking forward to it. I've got my trusty McDonald's Coke. And I'm going to need it because these are all spicy. And I have a feeling a couple of these will be very spicy. So let's start with this. Now, I just mentioned, I had just mentioned that I really enjoy the cheese doodles. The reason I bring that up again is because look, looky here, cheese doodles, baked puffs, but hot and honey. So this will be fascinating to see how hot this really is. So let's dive into the info here. You get five ounces of it. Kind of hard to see there. Sorry for the glare. So five ounces and the calories, 150 calories per serving. Five servings per container. I'll try to pause it there for those of you interested. And the carbs, 18 grams. The company, Wise Foods from Berwick, Pennsylvania. And I know Pennsylvania is half Eagles fans, probably half Steelers fans. Good luck to your Eagles on Sunday. That should be a fun game. I heard it's going to be 52 degrees, so wow, that's going to be a... that's The 49ers and Eagles will be a very fun game. I'm looking forward to watching that. Good luck to all four fan bases of the remaining teams. Okay, as you can see, my team has been eliminated. And that's okay. Next year. Okay, let's go. Let's try this. Hot and honey, cheese doodles. I'm not scared, but I am, I am, I love spicy, but I have a feeling these are gonna be spicy. Hot and honey cheese doodles. Here's what they look like out of the package. And let's go. That's good. Um, I'm waiting for the kick. There it is. Okay, it's hot. It's not as hot as I anticipated, which is fine. 
By the way, I'd like to mention, so McDonald's, I mentioned in my last haul, Dollar Tree haul, have gone to strawless lids. I like that, and I'm not getting a straw. But I will say, every once in a while, I have spilled a little bit while I'm drinking. So be careful if you if you go to McDonald's and get the strawless lids. Just be careful, because I've noticed you, you can spill, but I, I agree in principle with getting rid of the straws. Good. So, on to the score for this. I will give this an 8.5. An 8.5. I like them. I would get it again. They weren't quite as hot as I thought they might be, but I still really, really enjoy the taste. So, an 8.5 for the cheese doodles, hot, and honey. Okay. This next one, I think, is going to be very hot. I've tried these before. Not, but I haven't tried this uh, variation of this of flavor before. Fiera's um, Spicy Sticks Chili and Lime. Now, I've tried Fiera's before, and they are hot. So this one will be interesting. You get six ounces. As you can see here, um, 130 calories per serving. And how many servings per container? Six servings in this bag. Carbs are... Total carbohydrates, 16 grams. Let me put it there. You can pause on the screen if you're so inclined. And this country of origin here, product of Mexico. So let's see how hot this one can go. This will be very interesting. I have, uh, I'm kind of scared. Not scared, scared, but you know, I have a feeling this one is going to be quite spicy. Wow, that's a loud bag. Like I'm trying to open the bag and it's very loud. All right, here we go. Well, they make this one not the easiest to open, I will say. My goodness. Here we go. Finally got it open. Oh my gosh, they smell. They, I can tell by the smell that these are really hot, like spicy hot. So they call them spicy sticks. Um, they're quite small, but I have a feeling these pack a punch. So let's let's just try one. Yes, that's hot, but good. Wow! Quick drink. It really has a kick. Like you eat one, and you wait about three seconds, and it really kicks in. But I am a fan of spicy food. Those for me are absolutely delicious. It would take the, me a while for to me, for me. It would take a while for me to eat these because you cannot eat them in bulk. Your mouth would just be on fire. At least for me. So I will give these. Um, I'm gonna go nine point zero. I thought about nine point five, but I like to reserve nine point five for just like just the incredible food. So. I will go 9.0 on the Fieras Spicy Sticks, Chili, and Lime. Yummy. Very, very good. Okay. Two more items, and they're both in the candy family, surprisingly. Now, I am a gigantic Hot Tamales fan, but these are not Hot Tamales. It is Hot Tamales brand, but it is Hot Tamales Cotton Candy. Fierce cinnamon flavored. That sounds really spicy. That sounds really, really spicy. But let's, you know what? Bring it on. Let's go. So, you get two ounces of cotton candy. Um, the bag has a lot of glare to it. Sorry about that. And it's actually surprisingly a lot of calories. Well, I guess not really. It's the entire bag is 220 calories. I guess that's not too bad when you think about it for the whole bag. 220 calories um, in a serving. It's the entire thing is one serving. Total carb carbs, 59 grams. Kind of high on, I think that's sort of high on carbs. So that's interesting. But I probably, I wouldn't eat this in one sitting. I don't believe in general. So let's eat some right now. Oh, the product, uh, I mean, the country of origin here is the United States of America. No, well, both. Sorry about that. I mean, when I say both, two different countries. 
it's distributed in Chicago, but it says made in Mexico. So our friends to the south distributed the U.S., made in Mexico. Here is the label for those of you who might be interested with all the info. And let's go. Let's go. The last bag was not the easiest to open. I probably should have the scissors on hand when I do this. Uh, this one is not going to open without the scissors, so excuse me. So, trusty scissors here. So, hot tamales, cotton candy. This will be interesting. I'm not generally a huge cotton candy guy. Um, you know, I, don't, I don't dislike it, but I don't, I don't go out of my way to get cotton candy. So, I'm just going to eat kind of a smaller piece. Um, it comes out of the bag in just kind of one. Here's the whole kit and caboodle right there. It actually comes apart a little bit. So let me stick the majority of it back in. It's very messy. I would say this is more of a uh, summertime outdoor food. I shouldn't have taken the whole thing out. That was my mistake. It's actually very messy. Interesting. Okay, well, lesson learned on that. So here we go. I'm just going to eat just a decent little chunk of it. And again, this is called, I mean, the flavor is fierce cinnamon flavored cotton candy. So, my gosh, wish me luck. Here's what it looks like out of the bag. Let's go. Interesting. I love hot tamales. I love Every, I could eat a box of hot tamales for the rest of my life. I don't love this. I got to be honest. This is not for me. I'm going to give this a surprisingly low 7.5. I thought just from the hot tamales um, name brand alone that I would really enjoy this. But you know what? That's why we taste test it. 7.5. I would probably only buy it anything that's 8.0 and above for a second time. So I probably would not get this again. If Mercy liked it, we'd get it. Um, or someone else in the family, but yeah, I just, not for me, 7.5, not terrible, but there you have it, 7.5 for hot tamales, cotton candy, fierce cinnamon flavor. Now, oh, and it wasn't that hot, it really wasn't that hot, to be honest, which that may be a positive for some, for some of you out there, but for me, actually, I, I was kind of looking forward to being a little bit hotter. Okay, the last item is kind of a funny one. Not funny. Some people love this. It's funny for me because I don't enjoy this product. I don't enjoy like the main version of this product, which is the iconic brand name Peeps. Even as a kid, you know, we get our Easter baskets and Peeps would be in there. You know, my grandma would give me, you know, just the classic yellow Peeps. And I usually give them to my sister. So I, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't love them. So I tend to not eat Peeps. So an off an off flavor of peeps like this, I can only imagine that I will not love this, but I'm gonna keep an open mind. I do like sour things, but this is um, peeps marshmallow sour watermelon. And this is 130 calories. And the serving, the entire thing is the serving. So there is the label country of origin oh the carbs here total carb 34 grams and it is made in bethlehem pennsylvania from iconic just born company and there you go pennsylvania again those eagles look at that eagles green so we'll see what happens sunday so let's give these a try this will be interesting for me i would guess that i won't like love them but we will see I'm keeping an open mind. Let's try it. I bet a lot of you out there just absolutely love peeps. And you're like, what in the world are you talking about? You don't like peeps. And that's fine. Everyone is different. So they're cute. Here's what they look like. So here we go. I'll just, I'll just eat an entire peep. Let's go.
it is sour. It actually is sour. You know, like if you like Sour Patch Kids, um, you know, sour type candies, you might like this. And when I say you might like this, it's because I do not. I do not like this. Now, like I said, I don't enjoy regular peeps, but I just thought it'd be fun to taste test something out of my comfort zone. And I'm going to give these a surprisingly low, well, I guess not surprisingly, but I'm going to give these a 6.5, which is in the, even below a C, so below average for me. So I would not get these again. Maybe Mercy would love them, so I'd get them again, but I would not eat them again. Just not my cup of tea. But there you go, 6.5 for Peeps Sour Watermelon. It was fun to try something different. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching today's Dollar Tree Haul and Taste Test. Like I said at the beginning of the video, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell for notification. It all helps our channel. Until next time, guys, keep shining, keep smiling, keep shopping.